Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Today is June 17, 2020. Again, today is Wednesday, June 17, 2020. I'm so glad to see every single one of you this morning. Um, please, friends, we're going to go ahead and begin our read out loud. Remember, this week we were starting a book called The Surprise Family. Again, we were starting to read the book A Surprise Family. Please go ahead and make sure you have a you're sitting in a quiet place, you are sitting down, you are ready to listen, you're ready to track with your eyes, and you're ready to speak and answer questions as I stop in the book, okay? So this week you're reading The Surprise Family. Just a reminder, this is the title, The Surprise Family, okay? It is written by Lynn Rizzer. This is our front cover, and this is our back cover. All right, let's go ahead and begin. The Surprise Family. Here's a picture of the head. For Ward and John Ward and Ward and Joan and Pete, her story. Here we go. Okay, here's the beginning. First, there was an egg. One day, it cracked open. Right, so this is the egg. It cracked open. What do you think is going to come out of the egg? What do you think is going to come out of the egg? Keep reading. A baby chick looked out. Nobody was there. Where was her mother? Where was her mother? The baby chick looked up and saw a boy. All right, so there's a baby chick. What did she see? Oh, she saw this boy. She saw that boy. Her mother was a boy? The boy was not the kind, was not the kind of mother the chick had expected. But she loved him anyway. So friends, I want you to think. I want you to stop and think, what do you think the chicken or the chick, sorry, the chick is thinking about her mother? What do you think the chick is thinking about her mother? Or in this case, the boy, right? Because the boy is the mother. But what do you think she thinks about the mother? So the chick is probably a little confused, right? She's a little confused of saying, hmm, this doesn't look like my mom. This doesn't look like my mom. But she did say she was very happy and she was going to love him anyway. She says, the, the chick had expected, but she loved him anyway. So regardless of how her mother looks, she is going to love this mother or this boy, right? This boy. She's going to love him, regardless of how he looks like. Regardless of how he looks like. She followed him everywhere. The boy, the boy showed his baby chick how to find water and food and grit for her gizzard. He taught her how to hide safe inside his jacket when a hawk flew by or when the vacuum cleaner came too close. So here we see the baby chick eating. You see the baby chick eating. Here you see the baby chick hiding in the jacket, inside the jacket. The baby chick is hiding inside the jacket. 
Every afternoon, the boy and the baby chick went for a walk around the garden. So every afternoon, the boy and his baby chick went for a walk around the garden. They're walking. At night, she slept warm under the edge of his quilt. So, baby chick is sleeping with the boy. How would you describe their relationship? How would you describe their relationship? How would you describe the relationship between the boy and the chick? Do you think it's a positive relationship or do you think it's a negative relationship? Positive would mean good relationship. Positive means good. Negative would mean, hmm, it's a little bad, something bad. Negative would mean bad. So how would you describe their relationship? Okay. How do you know? How do you, why do you say that? Why do you say that? Okay, so yeah, so they have a positive relationship. They have a good relationship. How do we know that? Well, the boy makes sure the ch baby chick gets to eat. They go on a walk together. And they also even, they sleep together. So if you have a positive relationship with someone, you get to do all these things. If your relationship is not good, if it's negative, you wouldn't do this stuff with that person, right? So if the boy did not like the baby chick, they wouldn't go walk, they wouldn't walk together or they wouldn't sleep together. If the chick didn't like the boy, the chick wouldn't follow the boy and the chick wouldn't want to sleep with the boy, right? So they do have a positive relationship. The baby chick grew and grew and became a little hen. Now this is a hen. So hens are chickens are are hens are females are chicken females are girl are girl chickens that are already grown. So they're older. They're not little anymore. They're big chickens. They're adult chickens. It's kind of like mom and dad. Mom and dad are not little girl and little boy anymore, right? They're not like you. They're not little boy. They're not little girl anymore. They are adults. They're men and women. They're adults. So same thing with the chicken. Or this hen, sorry. It's not a little chick anymore. It's a hen because she is older. She's an adult chicken. She still followed the boy everywhere. But not following the boy was not enough. She wanted a family to follow her. Ooh. She built a nest. Okay. So now she's talking about that she doesn't want to just follow the boy. She wants a family to follow her. She wants a family to follow her. So she's building a nest. Why do you think she's building a nest, friends? Why do you think she's building a nest? Why do you think she's building a nest? What is she going to put in the nest? What do you think she's going to put in the nest? Yeah, that's right. She might lay some eggs, right? She might be laying some eggs. Seems like it. Okay, let's keep reading. The boy found a clutch of eggs. He gave them to the little hen. He gave them to the little hen. All right. So friends, I want you to stop and think. Are these chick are these eggs? Do they belong to the hen? Do these eggs belong to the hen? Are these eggs? The hen's eggs? Hmm. Maybe not because, look, her nest is right here. This is her nest. Look at her nest. If those were her eggs, wouldn't her eggs be in her own nest? Right? And also, make, look at this picture up here. Look at this picture on the very top. What do you see? What do you see here? What do you see? Well, I see a fox. I see a fox carrying a duck. I see a fox carrying a duck. 
Seems like the fox is eating the duck. Seems like the fox is eating the duck. So now I'm thinking, uh-oh, maybe these eggs belong to that poor duck that got taken away by the fox, right? Well, we won't know until we keep reading. Let's keep finishing reading. She sat and warmed the eggs, and every day she turned the eggs, and she sat, and she sat, and she sat, and she sat, and she sat. And she sat. Crack! Uh -oh. The eggs cracked open. Crack, 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 crack. The babies looked out and saw the little hen. Look at the babies. They're looking at the hen. Okay. They followed her everywhere. She showed them how to find water and food. She and great for the gizzards. So there they are, the ba the baby chicks with the hen. The hen is making sure they get to eat, they get to drink. She taught them to run to her when she sang a, a danger song and danced a danger dance. Ugh, 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 ugh. And to hide safe under her feathers. So what do you think it's dangerous? What do you think is dangerous about these two pictures? Why is she singing that danger itself? What is that? Why is she singing the danger itself? Yeah, that's right. That's a vacuum. Remember the hen, the chicken, that when she was little, she was always scared of the vacuum. So she's right now singing, calling them and singing that dangerous song because she wants the baby chicks to feel safe and not feel scared about the, of the vacuum. Okay, let's keep reading. Every afternoon, the boy and the little hen and the babies went for a walk around the garden. Okay, so what do we see here? What do we see here? Yeah, we see the boy walking, the hen is following, and who's following the hen? The babies, that's right, the babies. Good job. At night, the baby slept warm under the little hen's wings. So there's the baby sleeping under, under the wings, under the hen's wings. All right, friends, so how is their relationship? How's the relationship between the babies and the hen? How would you describe the relationship of the hen and the babies? How would you describe a relationship? Remember, a positive relationship would be a good relationship. Positive would mean good. A negative relationship would be a relationship that isn't so good, right? So how would you describe the relationship? And why do you say that, friend? Why do you say that? Yeah, so I agree. So it seems as well that the babies have a good, have a positive relationship with the chick, with the hen. How do we know? Well, the baby chicks follow the hen. They sleep with her. She makes sure she feeds them and gives them water or makes sure they drink water. And she protects them, right? She's protecting them. Okay. So I want you to think. And today, I want you to call me and explain to me, why do you think, why do you think the title, The Surprise Family, is a good title for this book? 
Why do you think the surprise family is a good title? And if you're like, I don't think it's a good title, tell me why you think it's not a good title for this book, okay? All right, friends, thank you for tuning in today. I will, we will finish, continue reading this book tomorrow. So have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Make sure you call me.